Hey, and welcome back everyone to Persona 4 Golden. And we got a text from Rise. Ugh. Why do you talk like Maya? Are you drunk? Uh, maybe if you promise to never message like that again. Okay, anyways. Work table. Let's go ahead and make a, work on that model some more. Looks like it's starting to come together. <laughs> uh, it's a rainy day. But we're going to use today to finish our models, so... Oh no. But if you look, my uh, last three fingers are all sticking together anyways, so... You got heavy armor Agni? Nice. Yeah. Which, that's exactly what we're gonna do. It's another day as the tutor. Which is really helping our money situation as well. I might actually be able to afford new armor. About this. That's a good question. I wish we could get the last bit of diligence we need. I mean, you kind of are. And you can answer whatever you want here, so work hard and you can be, that's part of. Yes and no. Metrics of being a genius are measured differently. It's not just about book smarts, it's your ability to think outside of the box. Poor guy. Mister. Well, what I like in a gorilla is... is the proper answer. Huh. Free courage boost. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's all good. And just like that, you've already hit rank 7 of the Tower Arcana. His progress is a lot faster than our monk friends. Later, buddy. Please come back again. You got it. Another 10k in the pocket. Uh, it's another Say rainy bye. day. Hey. Yeah, that it has. Oh boy. And it's still just us. The what? Everybody seems to really enjoy this series. Concordor, what is Concordor? Yeah, he's right, do support your local businesses.
<laughs> it's a cuckoo, man. Come on now. You say so. I don't think so. That's uh that's four so it was supposed to be five seven five. If you say so. Maybe Basho style is completely different from traditional haiku then. Oh well. Oh well. Today we have a few things to do. What? Oh, okay. Let's see. First things first. Central Shopping District. Oh, hey, what are you up to? Yeah, I mean, I enjoy rainy days. It's good sleep days, too. And let's see. Farewell to man. Definitely grab that. The final lesson. Take that. And we'll even take world-class bugs. Don't have any more to get. What are you up to? That's the spirit. All right, next we have to enter the velvet room. Yeah, yet another poem. I hope this one at least rhymes. Song of the Fallen Angel. The Fallen Angel is chained down. Her wings torn off, eroded by prejudice. Her last breaths full of black despair. Do you know her name? I wish Will she eventually return to nothing? Forced into the realm of oblivion? No. no. Her requiem will become a roar and tear away the mask of hypocrisy. Do you know her name? She who will strike down the cowards and tear down the lies? That's right. Her name is... What is it? Oh. I really wish what they rhymed. This? I mean... Oh, Margaret actually gave a little quip that time. Huh? Oh, I read it aloud. <laughs> Oh, what horrible things could she possibly be muttering? <laughs> this is just curiosity for me. It gives me throne, but I think I've already... No, I don't have them yet. That's goofy looking. Mmm, Scotty. Cerber. Cerberus has three... You know what? Okay. A white rider. But we also can make a couple other new ones. Like we can have Koryu now. Ongyoki. Although, uh, level 80. Holy shiza. Tamlin. One of my personal favorites. Good old Neko Shogun. We're definitely going to have Yoshi Tsune later on, because, uh, yeah. Completely busted Persona. Good old Black Frost. Utsunushi. 
Yatsufa... Uh, Yatsufusa? Okay. And then... Trumpeteer, I definitely want to get later on too. He's another one of my personal favorites. Bales above is also usually pretty strong, so... And we're sitting at almost half the compendium now, so we've done really good just from base play. Oh well. But... Now we do need to do a quick save, because we have to get our dinner from Aya again. And this time we only need diligence. It's quite literally the only thing we have left. So let's hope. We're, we're so close to being able to beat this thing too. Come on, gimme gimme. Nope. Nope. Yep, got diligence on the first try. Excellent. It's a double shot of diligence. Nice. What are you trying to say there? You right? You right? Alright. Dad's late. Yeah, that's not unusual though. Did he forget his keys? How would he forget his keys if... Hmm? It was the delivery man. He was asking where Mr. Takahashi's house is. Who's Takahashi, though? Hmm? Hello. This is the Dojima residence. Oh! Hi, Dad! Uh-huh. Alright. It's okay. I know it's your job. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Big bro's with me, so... Okay. Goodbye. Dad says he's coming home tomorrow. Oh, well, that's good. But I'm not lonely. You're here with me. That's the spirit. <sighs> it's cold today, too. Wanna bring out the kotatsu? What? Dad said we could pull it out if it gets too cold. That'll make it nice and warm. Oh. These look nice. Okay, I'm turning it on. Oh. What? It's not coming on. It looks like it's broken. Oh, I'll get us a new one. That's no problem. Yeah, let's get the best one. I can afford it. Anything for you. Huh? We can buy one? At you Ness? Yay! <laughs> when you have some time, let's go to you Ness. Anything for you. Alright, let's see what shows up. Hey, what? I'm not even sure who that is this time. It's like they're wearing a hoodie. Yeah, I can't tell at all. Yeah. Damn it. Is there gonna be another kidnapping? Uh, looks like it, man. Let's get together as soon as we can tomorrow. The one just now was too blurry to jump to any conclusions. But maybe someone has an idea of who it might be. We definitely need to talk. Just remember to keep your schedule open tomorrow after school. Yeah, 
can do. I watched the Midnight Channel last night, as you suggested. To think a master of deduction and evidence would strain her eyes over an urban legend like this. Yeah, well... And yet, I definitely saw someone. Could any of you tell who it was? Not even. From a fuzzy picture like that, no way. How about the regular TV? Has anyone become famous around here lately? Nobody that we've seen. Hmm, I can't think of any offhand. I suppose there was that politician who visited to quell the rumors about the fog. His statement was read on TV. That's true. But the chances of him being the one are slim. He returned immediately to the city after his inquiry. This is also true. Hmm. Huh, what's the matter? Oh yeah, they stuck you at the midnight shift for falling asleep on the beds and housewares. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Serves you right on that one. I told you to use the TV in the electronics department, right? Did you remember to check it out? How rude! I made a promise with Nanako-chan and I'm serious about living! From what I saw, wasn't the person on TV last night pretty small? It was kind of hard to tell. No, it was too blurry to make out any details, including how tall or short they were. It was probably just a dream or your imagination. Either way, though, did you sense anyone in that world? Well, that wouldn't fit the rule. The rule is you don't see anything clearly until they're already in. Nope, no one's come so far. Then we might have to wait one more night and see. Yeah, I guess so. Good thing it looks like the rain will keep up all night. Don't forget to check again later on. Okay. Hey, I'm back. There he is. Welcome back. Dad, the Kotatsu's broken. Can me and Big Bro go buy a new one? The Kotatsu? Oh, it's already that season, huh? Yeah, the weather has been odd lately. Yeah, Dojima doesn't really seem like the kind of guy who'd even feel cold. All right, I'll leave it up to you. Get whichever kind you want. You got it. What's in your hand? A letter? It's for you, but... Huh. No, I wouldn't read that in front of him. Uh, that's that is definitely not good for him to see. Hey, what the hell is this? Oh boy. Not often we get letters with no return address on them. So, I was right. Uh oh. Be straight with me. You're involved in the case, aren't you? What are you up to? I mean, we'll we'll try to. You can say whatever you want here. I'll try to tell him the truth, but he won't believe me. So you're not gonna be honest with me. But I've been treating you like family. That's why I never questioned you on this. But I see that was a mistake. I should have intervened much earlier because I care for you. I will have the truth from you today. But I am telling you the truth. Dad? We'll continue this somewhere else. But I'm not letting you leave until I'm convinced. This is for your own good, got that? Yep. It's all right. We're, we're not fighting. We'll be right back, so don't wait up for us to get to bed, okay? Don't worry, we'll be back soon. Okay, I'll be waiting. Hmm? 
I'll hold on to this. But... Now speak up. What have you gotten yourself into? What was that warning letter about? Why would you be sent something like that? Shouldn't you be like checking it for fingerprints or something? I, you, you can still say what you want. I'm going to keep trying to tell you the whole truth. Persona? People going inside a TV? I, I can just show <sighs> you. I thought you'd finally tell me what's really going on here. I am. Enough. That's enough. I guess half a year wasn't long enough for you to trust me like your old man. But I do. But I'd hoped you'd open up to me a little. It's a shame. Stay here for the night. Whoa, sorry. Oh. Dang. Go inside TVs and personas, huh? Well, you can't blame him. I mean, sure, I want to believe you. And I know Dojima-san brought you here and asked you those questions because he wants to believe you too. Plus, you know, you'll be safe here. He probably freaked out once he saw that letter and thought he had to protect you. Like what a father would do for his son. I think he cares for you a lot. Yeah, he, he does. So, yeah, don't take it so hard. You know, Dojima-san started looking into people involved with the first case again. Guess he wasn't satisfied with the way the case wrapped up after all. That's why he's even more sensitive about this and that. <laughs> I better shut up now before I get chewed out again. Yeah, he seems like he's in a foul enough mood where it wouldn't just be a verbal chewing this time. Alright, I'll be just outside. If you need anything, let me know. Thanks, Adachi. Why do I have to pitch in with stock duty? Does she work here? It's because I'm not working hard enough. There's no getting around it. Well, at least you're honest. And you're proud of that because... Why am I taking care of you anyways? I shouldn't have bought you this. Hang on to it, okay? It's your own cell. <laughs> I've entered the information age. We'd get worried if we couldn't reach you. It's just a cheap kid's model, though. <sighs> Thank you, Yosuke. <sighs> so to use it, press this button. Uh, scrap that. Watch, I'll show you how I use mine. Ah. Uh. Uh, this is normal. He's not picking up. Ah. Uh. It's raining right now, so I was gonna remind him about the midnight channel. Does he not hear it because he's out? Huh. Uh, I wanna go to Nana-chan's place. I promised to play with her lots. We gotta finish up stocking first, though, sir. You're not going. And go put those snacks back. It's already dinner time, so save them for your next visit. Oh, I get you. If he's out, that means Nanako-chan might be home alone. I feel bad to think of her staying home all alone. We could go take her some dinner. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, I hear you. Jeez. <sighs> all right, Teddy. So we can go? You got, you got some points with me for that one. Sweet. You're so mature, Yosuke. My heart just skipped a beat because of your thoughtfulness. Hang on a sec. I'll try calling again. He's still not picking up. Oh, duh. I forgot to try his home line. Uh. Hey, Nanako-chan? Um, is your brother home? No. He got a weird letter, and Dad saw it and got angry. 
This is your Teddy speaking. And you're starting to lose points again. Let's get together and eat snacks again. Weird letter. We'll go check up on your brother and dad. All right. So don't worry, okay? All right, you, you regained your points there. Wait, was it another warning letter? Did he get a second one? And Dojima-san saw that, so he took him to the station? Yeah. Teddy, give me the phone back. I need to call the others. Guess I'm just going to keep hanging out here. I guess I can just watch and wait. Wait. It's getting clearer now. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Poor thing. I'll put you at ease soon. No, 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 no. Wasn't that Nanako chan on the Midnight Channel just now? How could it be her? I know what you're thinking, but Nanako chan does fit the pattern. She wasn't seen, but she was heard. What? Do you remember the politician who visited a local school and made the news several times? In those interviews, he always quoted a particular student he spoke with. The child became well known while remaining anonymous. That girl was Nanako-chan. A oh. reporter who took interest in this released her photo and interview using her real name in today's evening paper. But uh -huh. even before that, this is a small rural town. Her identity must have been circulating for quite some time. Oh my god! I should have realized it much sooner! But I was hung up on the idea of people who were shown on TV. It didn't occur to me that this would qualify. What, what are we gonna do? Nanako-chan's home alone right now, isn't she? I'm on my way there as we speak to check on her. Yosuke-senpai is heading to the police station. He said he called Kanji-kun too. They'll explain the situation there. Alright, I'll join them right away. Oh, we might want to get more than just one person protecting the potential victim. Yes, please do. Although Naoto does have a gun, so... Hmm? What are you guys doing here? Hey, what do you think you're doing? I didn't say you could go in there. Nanako-chan's missing. Uh... What? what do you mean? Naoto's on the phone, calling from Nanako-chan. I mean, your house. Shirogane, you there? What the hell's going on? I'm at your house right now. The front door is open and there's no one inside. I'm afraid that Nanako-chan has been kidnapped by our serial killer. Surely you must have known, Dojima-san. The case isn't over yet. <sighs> This is the KJ Customer Service Center. The number you have dialed is unavailable right now. The phone may be switched off or outside our coverage area. Nanako. Tajima-san. Is this true? Has Nanako really been... Why? Why, Nanako? Um, it's probably because the media... What are you doing? 
Traffic Division, Ota speaking. There's been a kidnapping. Get your men on it immediately. Start with checkpoints along the highway. Checkpoints? Um, could you explain the situation a little more? Quit griping and get to it! The victim's a seven-year-old girl. My daughter! Your daughter? Wait, what about the scene? What makes you think this is a kidnapping? That's... look. This could be connected to that multiple murder case. Connected? <laughs> but we caught the killer. He's gonna become a killer if you don't get moving. How long has she been missing? Have you received any notices or ransom letters? No, but... Damn it, there's no time for this right now. Um, all right. I'll try contacting each of the departments. Even if you tell them this is connected to the murders, we can't prove it. And everyone on the force thinks this case is over and done with. Where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my daughter. Come on, Adachi, what'd you think he was gonna do? If this is connected to that murder case, the top brass won't accept the facts until it's too late. I'm not gonna wait for those clowns. But do you even have any ideas or leads on who took her? If they used a car, there's no way... Shut up! That's why I'm hurrying! What are we just standing around for? Let's get a move on, people. <sighs> what am I gonna do? Dojima-san's run off half-cocked. Adachi-san, we'll go look for her too, so please, let him go! Huh? You know I can't. So what's going on? Whoa, hey! If I let all you guys in here, then I'm really in trouble. Besides, we don't even know if this thing's... Quit your bitching! Now ain't the time for that shit! That's it, Kanji. The hell are we sitting here for when this guy's family's in danger?! You gonna own up if something happens? Huh? Kanji-kun! He's right. I know how you feel, but if you don't tell me what's going on, there's really nothing I can do. Ah, so you agree to release him once we explain the situation? Very well, then. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. In any case, if we run out blindly, we'll have no idea where to begin. Let's all take a moment to stop and sort out the situation. Perhaps this will help Adachi-san understand as well. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a kidnapping by the same culprit who was behind the others. Now, consider that the front door at Nanako-chan's house was open. I examined it and found no trace that entry had been forced. You mean, Nanako-chan opened the door herself? And? Precisely. The culprit didn't sneak in. He came boldly up to the front door and pressed the doorbell. Like how it was for all of us. Um, for all of us? But the circumstances are different for her as compared to us. Remember what Nanako-chan said when we were at the hot springs? I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. So is the killer someone Nana-chan knows? Senpai, do you have any insight into this possibility? You know, it wouldn't be someone at her school. It, wouldn't, it couldn't be a great schooler. I don't think it'd be any friend. Dojima doesn't really have friends. So... Hmm. I don't think we can limit ourselves to people Nanako-chan knows. I agree. Then let us change our perspective slightly. We know for certain that the culprit must be using a large screen TV. Huh? TV? What? Each victim was taken at a different scene, yet was thrown into a TV almost immediately after being kidnapped. You know, he thinks we're crazy talking I like this. I would go as far as to say that it took place in front of their houses. Therefore, the culprit must be taking a TV with him as he goes. You think he's using a car? That wouldn't be big enough. Given the efficiency of the culprit's methods, I would assume a vehicle larger than a sedan. However, no unusual vehicles have been sighted. I'd expect someone to notice, since most of the victims vanished during the day. So it's someone Nanako-chan knows who has a car, but it's a car that can't be seen? 
think we can rule out the possibility that no one happened to see the vehicle. Especially since it's happened so many times now. A car no one would notice? Is there such a thing? What would it be? Delivery truck. That's right. Now I remember. A delivery came. It was a delivery truck. No one looks twice at a delivery truck, no matter where it's parked. And if it were a local company, it'd be the same delivery man every time, so he's not a stranger to Nanako-chan. She must have received packages from him during the times she was home alone, meaning we wouldn't know his face. Hadachi-san, is there anyone who fits this profile? A profile formed by a bunch of kids talking it over? Uh, let's see. A delivery company, huh? I don't know. Take it from a detective. I think this is gonna be a lot more difficult than... Come on, man. Wait, what? What? What is it? Hey! Maybe you're not too far off base. Dojima-san put this stuff together to reinvestigate the first case. The murder of that announcer. And there's a delivery man mentioned right here. Oh? I better go tell Dojima-san. It, what about us? After resigning from his last job, he took up the family delivery business. Before that, he was a council secretary. Namatame. Taro Namatame. The Anka singer's husband. That son of a bitch. All we know about him is his occupation, but I'd say that's enough of a lead to tell us where to go next. The address is. It's not far from here. I give him the clue, and he still finds an excuse to chew me out. He's still here. Is he gonna be okay? The killer's not just a normal guy. Nana-chan! Why are we all still here? Adachi-san! If there's been a break in the case, I'd better hurry to the scene. I'll just have to hope nothing happens here while I'm gone. I didn't see anything. Adachi-san. Let's go to Namatame's place. Dojima-san's probably on his way now. Let's move. Hang in there, Nanako. Daddy's coming for you. Fucking lunatic. What the? Hey, is that smoke? An accident? Oh. Are we standing here? Let's go, people. Damn it. Dojima san, are you alright? What? Where's Nanako? We're on it. Hello? We need an ambulance. Quickly, there's been an accident. One adult male is injured. That's right, I should call backup too. We gotta find Namatame. Nanako. Where, where's Nanako? <gasps> what happened? Come on, cordon off the van. Start hunting him. I was on my way to Namatame's house when I saw him. Drive past me. I gave chase, and he. Damn it! And where's Nanako? I'm Namatame. Find him, uh, please. But how? Oh yeah, maybe there's clues in the truck. Wait, you can't. We need to preserve the scene. Adachi is right on that one. Then allow me. If it rains again while we wait, the information we need will be lost regardless. Well, Nato is a detective, so she can take the case. Look! There really is a TV in there! 
Yes, large enough for persons of any size to fit through. I also recovered a diary from the driver's seat, most likely kept by Namatame himself. I learned the existence of a new world, thus I must save people. Save? The hell's he mean by that? What? A god complex. <gasps> this... it's a list of the victim's home addresses. Mayumi Yamano, Saki Kanishi, Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. Even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. I note that Mr. Moraoka's address is absent from the list. Wow. And that settles it. <laughs> the last date is today's. I can't believe such a small child appeared on it. I must save this child no matter what. Is that about Nanako-chan? I managed to take her to safety. The police have been active lately. This will probably be the last time I write in this diary. I've done everything I can. It's clear now. He used the same trick on all the victims. He'd just ring the bell like he was making a normal delivery, then throw the victim into the TV in his truck. Need to bring him down. Namatame is the killer. We need to go save Nanako-chan. Here, let's use this TV and- We can't, we don't know where we're gonna pop in. Wait a sec. We don't know where we'll enter through this one. What if we end up somewhere dangerous? Can't you also spawn exits, Teddy? It doesn't seem like it's going to be foggy tomorrow, so we should go in tomorrow, the same way as usual. But... If we fail, who's going to save Nanako-chan? Saving her will be our top priority from tomorrow forward. We'll leave Namatame's whereabouts to the police. No. Dojima san. We're gonna get him. Don't worry about that. You guys. Are you all right? I almost look like hell right now. <laughs> Nanako. She's my reason for living. We're gonna get her, don't worry. If I lose her, I might as well be dead. She must be so scared right now. And here I am. <coughs> when she needs me most, I'm, I'm helpless. What kind of a father am I? I can't even protect my own daughter. It's not your fault, man. Dochi, my son. If anything happens to Nanako, I'll make Namatame pay. We're already on it. Don't worry about that. You can save Nanako, right? I trust you. Please, save her for me. Won't let you down, sir. You're the only ones I can turn to right now. Please. We will rescue Nanako-chan at any cost. It may take some time, but you must put your faith in us and wait for us to return with her. Nanako-chan's on the other side, right? Definitely. There's no mistake. The police should be pursuing Namatame, so let's focus on saving Nanako-chan. Yeah, we're the only ones who can. We'll save her no matter what. 
often thought it might be impossible, but we finally cornered the culprit. We made it this far. We won't let him take Nanako-chan's life. Oh, not a chance in hell. Yeah, this is it. Let's go all out and get it done. I made a promise with Nana-chan. I said that we'd play again, and that everything would be okay. I promised her that. Yeah, so let's save her. We're doing it for Dojima-san, too. <laughs> He'll owe us another watermelon. Regardless, we must do whatever we can with what we have now. This is something only we can accomplish. So then what are we still standing here for? Let's move. Yeah, we do this the same way as always. All we gotta do is find Nanako-chan before the next foggy day and get her out of there. Nothing to it. Let's keep calm, be careful, and get it done. That's right. And with that, we've reached the full rank 9. Alright, well, there's not much else we can do for here at the moment. But, given how much has occurred here now, we'll go ahead and call it for today. We'll pick up tomorrow. And we're going to try and knock out as many social links as we can, get quests done. We've got a lot of work to do, so I'll see you all then.